in between episodes, I went and got a water bomb, so we can immediately use it on this, so we can do another level 5 for... Oh, well, because for some reason, Fi seems to be the most popular character. <laughs> or the most used character here. I'm, I'm not too sure what that's about. Uh, yeah, I'll work on this. I think. Oh, sorry. I don't think I've said this, but I think I have, but, um, <laughs> I just re-edit, or re-edit it, edit it just because, um, one thing I think is really weird about this game is that, uh, you can't use the classic controller, but you can use the Wiimote and nunchucks. It's like, excuse me? And, uh, it seems that Demon Lord, uh, men, uh, yeah. I mean, good thing we do have a, um, tap effect in this on Gearham, although I think it does extend over to, um, Midna. But, um... <laughs> I would rather not have to, um, avoid Binder. Okay. And uh, I feel like this mission sucks already just because, um, Fi isn't the best at one-on-one -on -one combat and, uh, especially not when you're trying to avoid hitting a, c a character. Also, I didn't realize how, uh, <laughs> outlined her goddamn thighs were in her special thing, and, uh, <laughs> okay, definitely talking about the Moblin there, but, uh, <laughs> yeah, just kind of makes it disappointing that fires a sword, and, uh, you probably couldn't hit it without, um, getting bodily harmed, and I feel like I might have- okay, yeah, I did kill the um, wrong enemy. Um, I feel like since these are pretty easy missions, considering I might just do a editing thing <laughs> at the end of the video. But uh, anyway, back on the bizarre topic of, um, <laughs> Wanting to fuck a sword, but uh, yeah. Uh, uh, brilliant. Some sword on sword action, if you will. <laughs> um, I know it's most likely go going to be the um, first mission and only the first mission, but uh, I kind of really want to title this episode Sword on Sword Action now. And I just haven't been this. Uh, like that's one thing I have, like some troubles with is that um, if I can help it, I want to try and avoid naming an episode on a set topic of, or yeah, a set topic that doesn't go on for way too long or doesn't go, uh, doesn't go on for too much of the video, which I feel like um. I think the video where we first used Fi, oh, not Fi, Rudo, um, that probably would have been named like Fishy Impressions if it wasn't, um, for the fact that we, that was only for one, for one mission. So, uh, even though it is kind of against my better judgement, I'm kind of thinking about naming it, naming it Sword and Sword Action. And that is a fail. Uh, 
So I wonder if Twy has arms. Like if the coat she has on that acts as her arms are just like things you can turn into arms. No reason. It's just uh just putting it out there. Okay, need to watch the damage. Although it's probably the last one. That's going to be a little bit difficult to do, to say the least. Okay, um, here we are with the redemption splice. Um, I feel like for these types of missions, I'm only going to show off the part that I don't do correctly, since, uh, not only are these missions kind of short, but, um, they're kind of on the easy side as well. <laughs> um, a tip you can do is that you can use the boomerang on the boomerang on the opposite enemy to get them out of the way, but that doesn't work as well, and, uh... <laughs> one thing I did forget in this mission is that, um, Fly's C2 exists, so, uh, <laughs> yeah, um... Now we've done this cor correctly, now we don't have to go back for it, and all is good. And, uh, back to the episode at hand. That is in the middle, or around the middle of the map, so, uh... Looks like your boy's doing that sometime soon. Although, I kind of love to get Impa's level 2 weapon of that, of if I stick. Because it seems interesting. Like, even though I do enjoy using her um, giant blade, it kind of does feel like that's just a tutorial on the water elementals. And, uh, it's not the best. Although, that being said, there's only really Fi and, um, Impa. And, wait. No, yeah, uh, <laughs> the giant fairy would be base. I don't know, like, coming from... Mm. My favourite. Yeah, coming from... Hyrule Warriors Legends. It feels weird knowing that, um... Some of the characters that I thought were base aren't actually base characters. And, uh, I do know now that there's only, like, five Adventure Mode maps in this version. I just assumed that, um, even though I don't think this game did get the, um, other actual map maps, like the, um, fucking, uh, great... Why did it say Grey Bay? Um, the Wind Waker maps, like the um, uh, blinking on the name, like Outside Island maps, and uh, the Wind and Earth temples. I just assumed that um, those missions that would take place in there just took place here, or, or on one of the base maps, but uh, apparently not. Or something. I guess I'll just have to see when we get to that part. But uh, what I'm thinking for th when we do reach that part, or once we or end up doing all the maps, I'm thinking I might just switch to versions. And uh, because of that, um, 
I am thinking I might just stick with the Wii U version until we finish all the maps on this part. Um, I might not do the rewards map since I am thinking about doing that last. But, uh. <laughs> might be a little bit interesting to say the least. Maybe, I don't know. Okay, um. Why do I get the feeling that I may have fucked up a little bit? Maybe I should probably see if I can weaken the red team. Okay, well, thank you, thank you, game, for telling me that there's a chest somewhere. It's like, okay, <laughs> it's like great. I couldn't have figured that out on myself or by myself, seeing as a. Uh, before I got to playing this mission, there was a thing that said, Hey, there's, there's a few collectibles here for you. It's like, yeah, you, you, th you think? I definitely think it was a mistake. Trying to undo that, so... or oh, accidentally killing the, um, thingy thing. So I will overcorrect and focus on the red team now. So I finally saw Toy, Toy Story 4 and uh... <sighs> it doesn't like I can kind of see some of the complaints but I don't get them entirely, especially since um, it's not that unnecessary, although I do feel like it is the third part in a Woody trilogy, and uh, because of that, uh, the other mainstay characters got shafted hardcore. Not to mention Buzz's whole arc was just like, uh, it's like, he wasn't the smartest toy out of the bunch, but like, he probably would have done, like, sure he did have his moments, but like, uh, I, I don't think he would be that fucking stupid to be, uh, to believe that, um, his conscience was something he, oh, like, I was like, uh, it's like, what? It's like, I don't... I... It's like, what the fuck happened there, mate? Okay, it looks like I might have to take down the yellow team. Okay... Yeah, and I definitely think that the, um, key and peel characters, I think? They're the actors that played them. I, I, I don't think they were that funny. I like think they were kind of annoying, but I guess that might just be me. I don't know. That is just me because like all the reviews I've heard of um about it are it's just like oh these are the best characters. It was like some of the best characters. It's like yeah no. <laughs> I, I don't feel like I don't find that sort of comedy to be funny at all Although that being said uh, yeah. <laughs> I kind of feel like the way like it might just depend on the experience since uh Watching a movie on your bed isn't the same as watching it in theaters so, it might have had an entirely different experience if I did go and see it in theatres. 
sort of thing. Okay. Oh, he's still not dead. You, sir, have made out of fucking sturdy armor. How dare you? Um, we still need to do a whole lot of them. <laughs> Killing before we can get to other thing. If that makes any sense. Yeah. Um. Really? It might have just been because we've been going on like back and forth a lot. That this mission feels like it's been on, been going on for like a while. When really it hasn't. It just feels weird. I guess that, in my opinion on that, might just have to change when I actually play Sonic Lost Forward, but um... I'm not sure why, but I feel like a Sonic Unleashed feels more like Mario Gal- feels more like a Mario Galaxy game than um... Sonic Colors and even Sonic Lost World. It's like, there's, there's barely anything to do with space in um... Unleashed. Whereas, uh, the other two have quite a bit to do with space. And in fact, the common joke when talking about Sonic Lost World is saying it's, uh, Mario Galaxy 3. So, yeah. With that being said, I wonder how people would react if, like, or how it would feel if I just did Sonic Unleashed and Mario Galaxy back-to-back. Like, back. It's like, what? So speaking of Mario Galaxy, but, um... While I was getting the, um... Water Bomb, uh... The sound Gobblegut makes just randomly popped up in my head. In my mind, and, uh... I don't know, don't know why. It's like, yes, I did watch Chugga Conroy's... Oh, I am watching Chugga Conroy's Let's Play on Mario Galaxy 2, and, uh... He did recently do that mission, but, uh... I shouldn't remember the whole... Error, error sound so well. So what if that was intentional? Making it sound like he says error. It's like that, that can't have been intentional. And, uh... Just saying it now. Um, even though I might not have intentions to play Mario Galaxy 2 again. Um, I am not looking forward to uh, doing the fiery gobblegut thing or mission yay like I'm being totally genuine here um facing fiery gobblegut has been one of the only times I've rage like actually rage quit a game and uh <laughs> Doing. It's like, yeah, the perfect run. It's like, yeah, it, it, it takes a bit and you need to get really good, but, um, and even lucky sometimes, but like, yeah, no, perfectly fine doing that, uh, but Fiery Gob Gobblegut? Yeah, yeah, no. Fuck off with that shit.
Also with that being said, um... Yeah. Yeah. I'm not sure. I just feel like... Mario Galaxy 2 would be much better if the um world map wasn't so linear and uh you could collect the green stars on your first mission or on the first pass because like I uh, it just feels really odd just like being like collecting 120 stars and then getting to a point where it's like, hey, you technically could have, like, or like, hey, go back and re-explore levels that you could technically have, um, done much earlier, you son of a bitch. So another thing, I really don't like how, um, for the Ian level... Hungry loomers, you have to use coins. And, uh, for whatever reason, the amount you need is extremely high at the beginning of the game, and then just lows down. It's like, it couldn't have made it fluctuate the entire game. It's like, what the fuck is that? It's like, yeah, um, while making the in-level Hungry Loomers take coins makes some sense, as, um, now you don't have to worry too much about coins, you just need, um, the few, or, or the star bits. It's like, ugh. It's like, stop it groaning isn't that bad. It's like, even in the original Galaxy game, like, or when I went to play that game, I had no problems with um, the stop it amounts I, that, I, that I needed. Although that might have just been because I was collecting all and every stop it I could find, and, um, when I got to the Hungry Luma levels, I just did it in a way that, um, on the first pass, I paid the amount that I needed to do. And then, when she went to do that mission, I just went and did it. That way I could keep the amount of subits I had. Sort of thing. Really? Another fucking... Gold cocker. Another gold cock. Really? Really? <laughs> Who? Okay, you can die. That would be nice. Okay. Ooh. I can't wait until we get Twilight Minna. A Twilight Minna. <sighs> like a lot of the really good characters like aren't base, and that disappoints me. Like a whole lot. Um. I know for a fact that the Golden Coco is random, so it might not have been there, but I get the feeling that it was there. Could you have gotten a... Or could you have gone on a, um, or could there be a treasure chest around the, because I 
feel like because it's out of the way, that's where one of them is going to be. Okay. Um. That makes things a little bit easier, as we oh now we only need to look for one. Unless this is a key. It's not a key. That is good. <laughs> um. We can go on now and... Hey Impa, can you kill that chicken for me please? I can know where enemies at the moment and all, but like, could you just do me a solid, please? Impa, the, ch the chicken. Do I look like a chicken to you? I, I, I don't think so. This reeks of a set of mission that was annoying to do in the Legends version, which uh... I get the feeling it's going to be the same thing, but uh, now it's uh, different. And by that I mean... The rewards we get for that map is different. Well, I mean, seeing as we can't destroy a chicken, uh, I don't think that's possible. <laughs> Impa. Okay. You're gonna run from the chicken. Yay. Because I feel like running is the best thing to do when there's a giant golden chicken just eating. Just sitting there. Please don't tell me you're at the point where I'm just gonna be attacking. Okay. Um. Hopefully you don't bother me. Okay. So now we can probably just fuck around. Getting some kills, looking for the heart piece. Actually, I wonder how many people say heart piece and how many people say piece of heart. Because it just sounds like, or like, it feels like heart piece is just easier to say, but I feel like piece of heart is more technical, or like, is the actual name of it, sort of thing. Don't feel like that is the thing. Okay. Um. Again, because it's out of the way, I feel like the harpies is going to be in that thing all the way on the other side of the map. So uh, we have a journey to go on. Is there a reason why the um? Hyrule Field of Twilight Princess is so canyony. It's like, uh, it just doesn't feel good. It doesn't look good. Although I guess it could have just been rivers and ravines that just have no water in them. Like that could have been the intention, maybe. But just because of how Twilight Princess looks, it just doesn't do that well. Sort of thing. Hmm. Okay. 
Okay. Either the heart piece is in the base Gernendorf just went out of, or what that currently is in, or it's the one with the chicken in it. And I definitely do not want chicken tonight. Okay, hopefully we can do this first, because, uh, chicken. Why here? Why on the intended path? That just feels weird to me. What? How dare you be on the intended path? Um, still have a bit of carries to do. Uh. Ah. <laughs> uh, yeah. I feel like we can just easily just do this. Okay. Hey, Cheek. How you doing? Okay. I probably wouldn't like to target chick around this point, but uh, we gonna be doing it. Okay, we're good. <laughs> Gavin, buddy, you missed. And you know what this song says? You're never supposed to miss. Okay. Um, let's play some Volleyball Chic. And... Why? Is Chic really gonna go all the way that way? <laughs> okay. Hey, boy. Uh... I might do the amiibo thing every like four episodes or something. Even though this is technically episode 12. But uh... Episode 14! I suppose. Uh, okay... Slowly inching towards getting Zant and... Sure. We'll get those ones out. Okay. Uh. I think I might as well check and see which one we are, we are going to have to do next episode. <laughs> Yay! Action trials. Yay! Um. Yeah, maybe ne next episode I'll get this raft so we can go up here and do that thing. <laughs> but, uh, until then, that is when I'll see you. When we'll be doing raft things. <laughs>